गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज पॉलिस मिस्टर्स असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर जिया एस कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड द टुडे डिस्कस द टॉप हॉइस्ट एंड आल्सो दिस इज माय लेक्चर नंबर 29 एंड पेपर इज द मेटियस हैंडलिंग हॉइस्ट इज एन अपराटस फॉर रेजिंग और लोअरिंग ए लोड सस्पेंडेड फॉर फ्रॉम ए हुक्स ऑन on the end of a chain or rope wire rope a hoist may be fixed that is the stationary base mounted or supported from overhead by a clips or hooks and another thing is here it may be traveling a traveling tires mounted on a trucks and another things also will be here the hoist hoist are raised are uh, dependable simple to operate and inexpensive also will be here basically the hoist is used for this the lowering and also uh, the suspended from this the uh, hooks and also this will be uh, concentrated according to the uh, fix maybe stationary and or sometimes we have to concentrate according to this will be uh, traveling um, maybe mounted on a trucks and uh, another things also will be here the this will be the simple and the not will be the compl- Uh, complicated equipment also will be there, and uh, this will be uh, in expensive also will be here. And another things the operations of a hoist can be uh, by hand uh, through a uh, pulling of chain, compressed air or electricity. That like the operated by um, the pins, uh, pins, um, switch box also will be here. And another things the hoist are um, the truly the basic hoisting equipments also will be here. Suppose. the you have to um, hoist on this materials then this will be the um, hoisting of this the materials and uh, uh, hoist is the basic equipments also uh, during to the hoisting equipments and another the you have to see that this will be the different uh, uh, hoisting equipments also will be here that this is the first on the fixed hoist also will be here and the second is the traveling electric hoist you can see and the traveling electric hoist you can see the different type of uh, um uh, park that like the or uh, eco park we can see that like the or the uh, rope way, um the rope way conveyor systems that are like the on hoist also will be here that like the buckets uh, is the hoist during to your the um the electric uh, and uh, this will be this bucket also will be movement and uh, also you have to concentrate that this bucket will be the uh, traveling uh, uh, traveling electric hoist also will be concentrated according to this bucket and uh, during to this buckets movement and this materials will be transferred from the one station to the another station and uh, this uh, uh, bucket is concentrated according to what the uh, tra- uh, traveling hoist also will be here and uh, that like the uh, electric hoist and uh, uh, during to these buckets you have to very easily transfer this materials from the one station to this the another station and also there is the no much more uh, people will be uh, required for this the transfer of materials from the one station to the another station that like the only two, two people or the two work, worker will be uh, used uh, for this the transfer of materials from the one station to the another station so the one is the uh, required for this the loading places the another person also will be uh, required for this the unloading uh, places and the during to this the loading places this will be um, the load this materials and also the um, you have to transfer from this the uh, loading to this the unloading uh, uh, places and the unloading places the Parts, uh, one person also will be uh, stay here, and uh, this will be uh, unload this materials from the uh, bucket, and uh, during this buckets will be uh, transferred through this the hoist, uh, um, and also the traveling hoist also will be here, and uh, the, during to this the transfer of it. And another th- uh, places uh, we can see during to this the uh, fixed weight. That means the there is the no movement also will be there. Only the this will be the uh, hoist also will be done during to your the different type of cranes also will be concentrated here, and the cons. constructional features also will be here the hand operated hoist also will be uh, concentrated the what is the hand operated hoist the oh, a hand operated hoist the essentially uh, consists of a large diameter large diameter welded in spore gate which is rotated by pulling of an endless uh, endless chain also uh, concentrated that like the the this will be in the, a large diameter Our large diameters are also the welded end of is uh, concentrated. Not will be the um, uh, uh, roller type end is here. This is the only uh, concentrated for this the uh, welded end. That like the uh, spark cuts will be given. This will be uh, which is rotated by pulling of an uh, inlet end. That like the on inlet end will be given. The another things the spark cut is connected to another smaller end spark cut through a 
systems of gearing with the large speed reductions and uh, this is the large speed reductions uh, concentrates uh, according to uh, you have to um, the movement of uh, um, uh, materials that like you have to concentrate according to uh, the large speed reduction systems will be given the gearing may be uh, planetary spare gear uh, systems or maybe warm gear um, the warm wheel arrangements also will be given during to this the uh, movement of materials from the one place to this the another place and the planetary spare gears you have to uh, given this is the sun held sun held uh, planet gears this is the one will be movement and again the another also will be uh, movement during to this the um, systems and also the um, uh, sometimes you have to concentrate according to this the warm wheel gear arrangements is the given and the for this gearing systems the torque applied at in the input sprocket is multiplied at the output sprockets and uh, another things and a uh, heavy loads may be lifted with the comparatively lighter pull at the input chain in given the, that means the you have to heavy load may be uh, lifted with the comparatively uh, lighter pull at the input chain and this will be given uh, on figure and the constructional features of the uh, typical hand operated on um, uh, gear typical our uh, trolley hoist also will be seen the this will be hoisting uh, efforts you have to given this will be the uh, hoisting uh, effort that like the one wheel uh, you have to movements and also the this will be go to this the upper directions and uh, another things you have to uh, uh, seen here this will be the uh, tra traveling efforts will be here during to this the traveling effort that like this will be um, the travel in your the hoist from the one place to this the another place and another things you have to given that this will be the hoisting effort and uh, this is the one will be concentrated according to this the sun and planets um, the gear will be uh, given on that points the upper pay and uh, also the uh, compound gear trains also will be uh, concentrated according to this the uh, upper pa upper parts and also the uh, lower parts is the another uh, mechanisms will be uh, given here and uh, uh, during to this uh, construction of features of the typical hand operated arm gear trolley hoist also will be uh, given and also very easily uh, transfer this materials during to your the uh, hoisting equipments and the uh, electric hoist is here and uh, what is the electric hoist and the uh, electric hoist basically the electric motors um, the driven hoist has one or two rope drums for the um, the cooling <coughs> coolings and uncoil uncoiling and uh, the hoist where ropes also will be concentrated the hoisting motor drives the drum through a planetary gearing system like the planetary gearing systems will be given this is the one will be uh, rotates and similarly the according to this the another uh, gears also will be uh, rotates and the uh, during to this the gearing systems with the high reduction ratio will be there that like the high speed reduction ratio serve the dual purpose of increasing torque as well as the reducing speeds of hoisting that like you have to uh, uh, introduce what is the reducing of uh, speed of hoisting that like the you have to increasing the um, uh, purpose of the torque as well as the reducing speeds also the hoistings you have to give into this the gear reducing systems and the two speed motors may be used for obtaining two hoisting uh, speeds also will be here the during to this the two hoisting speeds just like the, um, the um, two speed motors may be uh, used to this the obtaining two hoisting speeds during to this the movement of uh, materials that like the this is the hoisting uh, during to your the electric hoist that you have to give into this the driven of this the electric motor driven hoist here here and another things the lower speed is employed at the start of hoisting or at the finishing uh, stage you have to concentrate of lowering the load to avoid heavy jerk on the rope and pulley systems you have to give in the lower speeds is employed at the start of hoisting or at the finishing stage of lowering the loads to avoid the heavy jars on the rope and pulley systems you have to give in during to this the electric hoist and another things you have to give in some specifications specifications is required the respective of each type hand or electric or pneumatics the most important specification of an hoist is the it's the maximum load hoisting capacity is given that like the during to this the hoist we have to concentrate according to the what is the load uh, um, the load handling capacity of this hoist and the, what is the length of this the hoist what is the uh, 
uh, maximum uh, operating lift you have to concentrate according to your the hoist specifications the during to this system the um, uh, the ne uh, next important specification is the maximum operational lift or the height also will be concentrated according to your the your hoist the um, how many lifts you have to give and down the your the what will be the maximum weights can be lifted by this or the uh, weight this will be required for this the, your specification the how many uh, distance or the how many lifting you have to concentrate according to your the hoist for, uh, for this will be required for the specification for traveling the hoist the important specifications are the size of i beam and like the your i beam concentrate is here the i beam trucks uh, and the minimum radius of curvature minimum radius of curvature through which the trolley can be uh, man uh, man ever also will be concentrated according to your the specifications here the another things the for electric hoist the hoist speed hoisting speeds and the traveling speeds are two important specifications that like the um, your the for electric hoist you have to given the what is the speeds of your hoist and uh, suppose your hoist will be uh, tra traveling that like the um, the 50 meter per uh, second that like the speeds will be considered and uh, suppose your uh, hoist will be uh, go to the 1 meter per second speeds will be given and uh, this will be required for this the what is the capacity what is the specification of the hoist there during to your the speeds and uh, also you have to record for this the traveling speeds and another things the overall size of the hoist the what is the size that like the what is the length what is the width what is the um, uh, uh, height also will be concentrated according to your the uh, overall size uh, of the hoist and also the what is the chain, the chain length also will be uh, concentrated according uh, to your the hoist um, the size and also the what is the wear the wear will be come, uh, come uh, during to your the what is the length of the wear rope and uh, this is the size also etc will be concentrated according to the overall size of the hoist um, uh, chain or wear rope size etc are the other specifications and user will be inserted as uh, sorry interstates in will be there and the hoist manufacturers manufacture different type of hoist in different standard capacities that's basically the this will be um, the not will be required during to this the uh, all places the heavy types of hoist and the uh, not will be required for this the uh, small length hoist also will be here for this the hoist manufacturer will be di uh, different type of hoist will be um, uh, produced and also this will be different standard capacities are uh, lived and all the relevant uh, specifications are indicated in their production catalogs also will be um, uh, here during to your the hoist manufacturing um, uh, manufacturers also will be concentrated and another things also uh, will be discussed according to our the winds the winds is an equipment for pulling a heavy load by winding one or two ropes on a rope drum you have to given uh, like the uh, pulling a heavy load and uh, this is the not will be the heavy load not will be uh, uh, concentrates that like the uh, transfer by this is the hoist and uh, uh, pulling hoist not will be the heavy loaded uh, type of materials will be the movements but, uh, but for this the uh, over concentrations during to your the heavy load windings the this will be concentrated the winds the winds will be um, uh, transfer this materials uh, like the, the pulling this the heavy loads by this the winding of uh, one or two ropes this, uh, the on drums uh, ropes drums also will be used by the, or the uh, transfer of materials it is the stationary equipment that just like the consider according to your the stationary equipments which is fixed to the floor or wall and uh, uh, winds like the hoist are rough and simple equipments with the minimum maintenance also will be there and just like the um, like the hoist this will be required for this the minimum maintenance not will be the maintenance cost is the very high winds may be hand operated or motor power also will be used during to your the uh, transfer of materials but like not uh, small size of winds will be um, uh, handled by your the manually but like the hand operated and another things the larger type of winds we have to transfer by your the motor powers will be given and the winds are used as an independent pulling equipments will be given but like the uh, independent pulling equipments at construction sites also will be considered according to your the winds and another thing is here the however they are also used and uh, as an integral part of various other equipments like the skip hoist also will be here the you have to during your the fixed um, stationary stationary equipments you have to um, like the skips 
um, the skip type of materials also will be uh, concentrated of this the skip hoist is here and the certain type of train etc also will be concentrated that like or the uh, wings also is a uh, transfer of materials and also the constructional features also will be here the main uh, components of an wings is to, um, is the rope drums you have to give in during to your the rope drums and the these rope drums and the drums also will be uh, transfer our materials and the during to our the drum the drum movements will be found during to our the transfer of materials and uh, uh, by this the wings and also you have to give in uh, the rope drums uh, this like our the construction features of wings the supported by bearing at two ends and the another things the out the two ends you have to give in some of the bearing systems and also these two ends also will be mounted uh, on the wings frame and the, this will be mounted on this the wings frame and also this will be uh, concentrates at the, the bearing ends and the, this will be uh, mounted uh, wings frames and the, the frame may be made of cast iron the, this will be maybe uh, cast iron or fabricated from steel plates and also this will be fabricated from this the steel plates the rope drum is generally the uh, single and plain just like the or the rope drum is a generally single and plain and the where the rope is wound wound, wound in the multiple layers and the, this will be wound in the multiple layers also will be uh, concentrates not will be the single layer will be here basically the single layer concentration this will be uh, maybe the, the failure of this the, um, the construction for this will be concentrated according to your the multiple layer will be given in sophisticated applications as in a crane the um, you have to concentrate according to your the sophisticated uh, transformations of your materials that like our the crane the drum is grouped uh, in the two halves um, the two um, uh, two halves that like the double drums also will be here and uh, for winding two ropes simultaneously also will be uh, uh, given during to your the winding rope that like the not will be the uh, single ropes will be uh, here this will be the multiple um, uh, ropes uh, winding will be considered and another thing the suitable mechanism is provided um, uh, for guiding the rope for proper laying on grooves during the winding procedures also will be done that like the suitable mechanism is providing and another thing this will be guided for this rope for proper uh, laying on grooves during the winding procedures also will be considered and another thing the multiple drum wings also will be considered according to the multiple drum wings uh, when a wings is an integral part of a crane or dicks also will be here there are dicks is the this will be the multiple drum which may be used that like the number of drums is determined by the number of independent operations used in the crane or dicks you have to hear that like the number of independent operations will be concentrated and the one drum is required to handle the main load that like the during to the two drums and the multiple drums also will be used and the just like the one drums is required to handle the main loads and the another drums may be added when the main load is double revved and the two drums leave the load simultaneously by winding two ends of the wire ropes also will be concentrated just like the our two drums concentrations will be here and another things will be there another drum is used where a crane or drix home needs to be raised or lowered that like the you have to concentrate for this the multiple drums that the one will be concentrates the handle the main loads and the another drums may be added to when the main load is double ribbed um, the rivets and the uh, uh, two drums lift uh, loads simultaneously and the another drum is used where the crane or drix boom needs to be raised or the lower loads and uh, you have to see this will be the double drums uh, hand operated swings also will be here use of the use of wings uh, is stationary rotary uh, pillar cranes you have to given that like the our um, the given uh, figures you have to see this is the um, use of the procedures already discussed in this the previous slides and a few specifications also will be here the major specifications of a wings is are the pulling capacity that like the first will be essential for this what is the pulling capacity that like your the which type of uh, which uh, uh, quantity of materials you have to pull uh, that like your the um, uh, wings and also the wings are to the uh, carrying capacity of your the uh, materials that like the this will be concentrated according to your the pulling capacity the which type um, uh, kg the which ton which is the um, the quantity of materials you have to uh, pull by your the uh, system by your the um, uh, by the wings this is the first things will be concentrated according to your the pulling capacity of the wings and the second thing is the the length of the rope 
and the, when the, the pulling procedures will be done, then you have to uh, winding of this rope will be messenger. And the, during to this the winding ropes, you have to re record for this the length of this rope. The what is the length of this the winding ropes? And the, this will be the mass per essential will be uh, concentrated according to your the specifications of the winds. That means the your the which uh, which um, the length of this rope. And another things the rope speed. And the rope speeds also will be uh, concentrated. This will be the uh, low speed rope or the high speed rope also will be here. And the, this will be faster movement or the slower movements also will be uh, concentrated according to your, the rope. And the, for uh, motorized winds and the uh, number of drum used, the single or double drums also will be here. That like the, uh, this rope will be the motorized or the manual also will be used. That like the another things and the number of drums, drum used and the, this will be the Single drums used and the multiple drums that like the double drums used also will be concentrated according to the specifications and the other specifications include about the dimensions, the rope size. That means the what is the uh, length of this the rope? This is the what is the size of the rope and the drum size. That like the um, uh, how many quantity of uh, uh, materials will be uh, transferred during our the drum and the drum size also uh, is um, essential and um, uh, during to this the um, uh, transfer of materials. Uh, from this the one place to this the another place uh, that means uh, that you have to concentrate according to your the rope size the drum size and the drum uh, uh, movement of uh, materials uh, movement of materials from this the one station to this the another stations under this like the uh, these specifications will be much more essential during to your the um, the winds will be used um, for this the uh, different capacity of materials will be uh, transfer um, now that's like the, um, the drum size, the drum size will be uh, concentrated the how many much uh, more uh, weight will be transferred during to your the weight and also that the, during to your the uh, rope will be um, uh, uh, loaded on, on um, the loaded capacity also uh, have or not this will be concentrated according uh, toward the drum uh, size um, is here and another thing is also the motor power. The motor power is the basically uh, given some power uh, to transmit the uh, drum and uh, like the uh, uh, pulling capacity and also the uh, length of this rope will be uh, handled by um, uh, this will be depend on this the, um, the motor power the which uh, um, the power will be required when you have to uh, transfer of your uh, um, uh, all things that like your including materials and uh, this will be how many um, uh, powers will be consumption which will be required uh, according to your the motor speed also will be concentrated according to your the uh, movement of materials from this the one place to this the another place under this, uh, uh, all things also will be included. Uh, now, for this, the, um, the motor power. Either your motor's uh, capacity not will be uh, very good capacity. This is the uh, not will be the um, high speed uh, uh, motor will be in the concern. And the, sometimes you have to the high, uh, high speed of your motors and the low speed of your motors. This is the all things also will be considered according to this, the what is the horsepower of your motors also. And the all th uh, things also will be considered according to your the uh, motor's power. And uh, uh, according to your the motor's power, your uh, um, the, um, the parts will be transferred from this the one shaft to this the another shaft and also uh, this will be movement of uh, uh, elements uh, and uh, movement of uh, materials um, uh, properly uh, handled from this the, um, the, the this will be lifting will be done or not this will be lowering procedures will be properly uh, handled or not this um, the things also will be uh, concerned according to your the uh, motor power and uh, your motor system uh, properly given um, the transfer this power from this the uh, one shaft to this the another uh, shaft and uh, this will be uh, depend properly uh, then your uh, uh, handle procedures also will be properly uh, done uh, during to your the uh, system of um, the, your uh, handle on uh, handle of your materials properly and also um, you have to um, uh, your knot will be uh, crackings will be uh, come during to your the uh, length of your ropes and also the rope speeds will be properly maintained uh, your the uh, mode uh, during to your the motor speeds and uh, um, the extra, uh, another um, uh, things also will be required the human um, the power will be uh, required uh, during to your the motors will be transfer um, um, uh, transfer uh, motions will be properly um, um, by the order this wins and uh, uh, next class now we can uh, uh, next class discuss about the elevators okay um, uh, thank you friends